And it seems like they're explicitly trying to have the headset hit most of the problem places of the AVP. Like, it's smaller, it's lighter. Um, I mean, even from photos, you can tell that it's general, it looks less bulky. Yeah. Um, I think that little flap on the top is a little bit uh, misleading. Um, but yeah. supposedly it's like heavily compressible. Yeah. So, yeah, I've yeah. heard it's really comfortable. I mean, yeah. that's, that's been the report. Um, also, there's a better weight distribution, I've heard. Um, it feels like it, it's a seal, too. Like, you're actually blocking a lot of like light from above and around. Yeah. Well, like, actually, that's the interesting idea. interesting you know? is that it has much more of an open periphery design than even the Apple Vision Pro does. Because the Apple Vision Pro creates a literal seal yeah, around your face. This, if you, face you can't see. Right. Uh, there's actually not very much blocking light at the bottom. Um, supposedly, there is a bit that you can get that can close that, but it doesn't. It doesn't launch with it. Yeah, interesting. So um, the other interesting thing that um, has sort of leaked out around the same and sort of gives more context to the the project Muhan is that um, Samsung is preparing to launch a feature for its flagship phones which allows a similar 3D capture as to what Apple rolled oh, out for their yeah. phones. Yeah, like they're doing what Apple forgot to do. Well, yeah. no, the, Apple did do. I mean, yeah, but they did it after they forgot to do it. No, no, they, they, launched, they, they launched that feature with the AVP. Oh, but nobody knew. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, <laughs> I guess we, I forgot. We've been using yeah. it the whole time. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. The, the point is that, that, like, yeah, like the idea of capturing and putting it in your phone and on there, it's like we're a lot closer to having that be one co- like thing. One thing that they want to sell, you want to put out there on the on the floor on the uh, on the demo floor. It's not like this is a completely um, immersive experience just for consumers, just for like where's the content? 